hello guys you're welcome to again my channel if you have not clicked the subscribe button please do it is totally free of charge all you need to do is to go right in the bottom of this video and hit the subscribe button I got a message from one of our viewer to show just how to plot a 3d mesh plot since we're already on a 3d plot I decided to just show this video on how to do a simple 3D mesh plot with this following data that we can see already on the screen. If you have joined my previous video, I already showed even the introduction to 3D plot and some other 3D plot uh, examples. Now, in our previous 3D, we had this plot already seen here with this following uh, data which we defined to be this giving this plot in our 3d bar plot because we discussed with a bar plot now today i'm going to use just the same data to make a 3d mesh plot as asked by one of my viewer now how do we do this uh, definitely we need a separate or a certain model to run a 3d mesh and one of such a uh, model we need is a plot line now, if you do not have plot line on your machine, all you just simply do is to go to Anaconda prompt and Conda install plot line. If you do not know this, I also had a, I have a video in my channel that shows how you can install models that are needed or that you need in Python. Please also check on that video. Now, we start by uh, importing, assuming that we already have this. Uh, model installed on your computer which I already have it installed on my machine and so we go straight by uh, importing this plotline.graph plotline.graph underscore uh, objects so as so we say let's just let's say as g arrow so when we import this as g arrow then for the sake of the, the benefit of others I just also import n uh, numpy so when we run this now we already have uh, our plots uh, imported now the next thing we want to do is that if we take note of this um, coordinate uh, this variables or uh, for better chances we can just simply uh, either copy down or believe it so the, what I just so we have a new uh, nest figure so good so now we we see that we have position x y x y and z uh, position which are the data that we've defined so now what we are going to do now is to define a new position so let's call this position a new a new position so we are going to say this new position is equal to s position y position and uh, z position that uh, we already have uh, defined in this situation now let's see if it's going to okay good it's not telling us not defined good which means it's running so now the next thing we want to do the next thing we want to do is to define the coordinates we have x y and z coordinate and we are saying that this s and y coordinate is equal to um, this new co uh, this new variables that we defined to be a new sorry is equal to a new now having done this having done this what we next we want to do is um, we want to simply hit uh, this figure or we want to say plot now we'll say figure figure whatever you want to call it figure is equal to now g arrow g arrow which we, we imported as plot line dot figure dot figure now um that figure to this data uh to data equal to um G arrow mm, dot mesh 3D 
and we're using 3d then this time we'll say uh, our x we are defining all our data in this case because we already defined it that x y z is equal to what we've defined in this uh, positions uh, so we say x is equals to and y is equal to y and z is equal to uh, and z so when we do that we can decide to also uh, choose a color for this depend on what we want you can also decide to choose a color by saying uh, color this time we say uh, we can decide to choose a color and say uh, let's just call it light pink or we say blue so then we can also add uh, the opacity because you are dealing with a mesh now so we say the opacity let's call the opacity to be 0 0.5 for example now if we have this we can simply say uh, figure dot show as our regular and now if we run this plot it definitely takes some seconds to run a mesh grid plot now if we run this plot we could see that uh, we have uh, a mesh grid plot of what we have here and so we could see that wherever i put my cursor it shows me the coordinate of where i am right now that i am at the point of uh, 2 to 9 and a z of this now the most beautiful thing about plotting mesh grid is that um, it is not just a 3d plot but it is something that you can look at the bottom as you can see it is a rotational uh, 3d plot that you can uh, visualize in this case now this is so interesting because we are going to be using it to plot data on .csv files and even to see a beautiful plot later in our classes well this is i hope i answered the question of that person who uh, who wanted to know how to plot a mesh grid if you have more questions please do not forget put on the comment uh, or send me a message a personal message on my email thanks for watching and please don't forget subscribe